everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a June plan with me for my bullet journal as well as a flip through from the month of May. So let's get started. So for May I had a yellow um, daisy floral theme. Um, I try to keep like all the photos that I use consistent throughout the month just because I like how it aesthetically looks and um, I think it's fun to change up the color every month. So this is my calendar for the month of May and then for this section I have my habit tracker and goals and highlights. I used a different format for my habit tracker this month and I really enjoyed it so I did carry that into my June bullet journal spread. So here's my first weekly spread for May. Um, I experimented with different fonts for the lettering because normally I do like cursive calligraphy so this time I tried to change it up a bit. Every once in a while I like to include different pages in my bullet journal of lists of things so this month I decided to make a places I want to travel to page. I like to have these pages so I can look back on them and reminisce about the places that I had wanted to see in this certain year. So I just printed out a bunch of, a bunch of images from the internet and glued them in. And here is another weekly spread for May. Um, they're all pretty similar. I like to do a similar style with collage, um, stickers, and like calligraphy. So here's my next page for my May bullet journal spread. And this week was actually my birthday, so I wrote that in big letters. This is the current week that I'm on as I'm film filming this, which is why it's pretty empty. But I also got a new marker this month and new washi tape, so I got to use that, which was really exciting. Um, and this next page I haven't used yet because it's this upcoming week. I decided to include June on this week just so I could put a, an entire week onto one page so I wouldn't make myself confused like I've done in past months. But now moving on to June. So I decided to go for a blue ocean theme, but I guess this... Um, kind of contradicts that, but I decided to um, draw and watercolor a VW van just because I've always liked these a lot. And I think blue or the blue VW vans are definitely my favorite. So I drew that out with a fine liner and then went ahead and painted it in with some watercolors. And the next page I always do is my full calendar layout. This is my favorite. I don't think I could change it up. I just really enjoy seeing an entire overview of the month. So I decided to make boxes for all of the days of the month and I kind of screwed up because I made the boxes on the right end way too big compared to the other ones. But I ended up covering them with some pictures so you can't really notice but it still kind of annoys me a bit. Um, I wrote June on the top and then I used a Crayola Super Tip to draw these like little spots for the numbers and then I added some shadow in the back with a super light gray Tombow brush tip marker. Um, and then I wrote all of the days of the month in just with a black marker onto the blue spots and I ended up actually going over the June lettering with gold as you will see later just because I thought it popped more and it matched the gold washi tape that I used. And I also have a section for events and to do um, I added some more black and white striped washi tape and gold, and some more ocean photos. Okay, so the next page is my goals, highlights, and habit tracker page. So on the right, I'm starting by writing out habit tracker in my gold metallic marker. And I absolutely love this marker. Um, I got it a while back at Michael's actually. And I also did the same thing on the left with the headers. Um, I think this like makes it look super cool and because it's like shiny. So for my habit tracker, I decided to write all of the days of the week and on the top for all the different habits that I wanted to track and then I added this gray box surrounding it so that every time I completed the habit for the day I could just make a little dot in the box of the day. And I also added some more images that I printed off of the internet as well as some washi tape. This washi tape that I use is from Michaels. 
So um, around those boxes, I went ahead and outlined them with a black marker just to make them more prominent. And lastly, I finished off the page by adding some bullet points and some floral doodles. And that's how it turned out. I really like this page and I like how the habits are like surrounding the title. I think it's a little bit different from what I've done in the past. Since my exams are coming up in June, I decided to make a study log. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it, but I decided to put it there so if I do want to use it, I can. So I made it three sections because I have three different exams. Um, I did the title in the same gold marker and added some more washi tape. And on the other side of the page, I just added a Bible verse just because I had a spare page and I like making or playing around with different fonts and mixing them together. And lastly, I have my first weekly spread for June. I started by um, pasting in some pictures from the internet and then I wrote June with the same gold marker that I have been consistently using this month. Um, I added some more washi tape. This one is also from Michael's and I wrote all of the days of the week with my Tombow Food and Nisoki, um calligraphy pen. I think that's how you say it. And I also have a section for highlights and then I just added some more doodles and washi tape. Um, I just kind of add more and more stuff throughout the week as well. And I also added a mini calendar so I can see when the week is and the days, if that makes sense. Um, and I also added bullet points on all of them with my accenting color of that turquoise blue. And yeah, I think that's the entire page. And here is the flip through for June. As you may or may not know, I um, continuously add more pages as the month progresses for my weekly spreads, but this is just what I like to start out with. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post uh, monthly bullet journal videos on my channel, so if you guys would like to go check those out, I have a playlist linked below. And yeah, I also do other art journal videos like my anti journal series and I think that's all that I have to say for now. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!